Well, you may have resolved to take better care of your health in 2019, but does that mean you need to start the new year with the detox diet? Vod Health registered nurse and dietitian Gina Gordon joins us to talk about some of the myths surround detox diets and sugar. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, so now this time of year, we hear a lot about cleanse or detox diets. What do they involve? Yeah, so um, it's not uncommon this time of year for us to hear about types of diet that ask us to completely eliminate certain things from our diet. For mm -hmm. some reasons, uh, there's uh, heavy metal diets, uh, there's gluten, there's sugar, there's a lot of things that we're encouraged to try to help our bodies remove uh, mm -hmm. from itself. And uh, that can be for a week, for two weeks, for a month, and the, the benefit or the results of that can vary. Uh, and also the risk that are associated with that can vary. All right, so now is there any research out there that shows that these diets are effective? Yeah, so the idea is that we would remove something from our body and, and in a way just help our bodies to cleanse or to detox. And there really is not research that says that that helps or that we even need that. Uh, so I would caution on this idea that, that we need to do drastic things to, to cleanse our body of toxins. Now one thing that is proven though, however, in the literature is that it's very effective to allow our body's time to just be free of some things that are just not good for us. So in other words, clean up our diet mm -hmm. in the first place. And and think about what we're putting into our bodies and taking an opportunity to, to avoid those foods for a period of time because we can actually sort of retrain our taste buds and our behaviors so that we don't want them anymore. All right, so what about sugar? How much sugar can be part of a healthy diet? Yeah, um, so it's the added sugar that we're concerned about. Food contains natural sugar, so the fruits and vegetables and uh, some of our grains contain sugars that we actually need and, and are okay. It's those added sugars that we want <laughs> to allow our bodies time to stay away from. Uh, it's those processed foods that contain those added sugars that there is benefit to eliminating those. All right, so we need to stay away from those as much as possible, those addictive right. ones. All right, That's where can right. people learn more on the topics of healthy living? Yep, novanthealth.org slash wellness. All right, good stuff. Thank you so much, Gina. We appreciate it.